Hi everyone, it's Christina and I just want to invite everyone over to yourpaperpantry.ning.com on Saturday. We are doing a royal wedding virtual crop and it starts um, Saturday morning at 11.30 and that's Central Standard Time. So if you are a member of Your Paper Pantry then please come on over and hang out with us all day long. I think it goes till about 7 o'clock at night if I'm not mistaken. And we probably have about six classes. I think we're making crowns and place settings and cards and invitations and all kinds of goodies. Um, if you're not a member of Paper Pantry then head on over to yourpaperpantry.ning.com and join. It's $12 a year so that's quite inexpensive and um, I will, my class starts at um, uh oh my class starts at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time and that is 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time so that it starts for me at 11 and I am making dresses on canvas and this is what I will be showing you how to make this, this dress is made on, um, I think this is about a six, a square canvas. I think this is about five inches by five inches, <coughs> by five by five. It's on one of these types of canvases. But on, on, for the class, I'm going to be doing it on one of these small canvases. So they're not, they're, they're really quite thin and it's about four by five inches. And the stamp, if you have this stamp, that's perfect, then you can use this. I've just copied this from the internet. I don't have the stamp. Um, so I just sort of drew my own stamp. If you have the stamp, great. I don't know what the original size of the stamp is, but if you have it, then you can use it. And what you're going to be doing is... Um, and in my next video, I'll show you all the supplies for this class. Then you would just ink your stamp, ink it on the this cheesecloth, and then cut it out. Because I don't have the stamp, I have have a template, and this will this is in place of the stamp. Um, and then I'll just put it on the cheesecloth here and cut out the sections. I have this template um, on my blog. And I'm going to stop the video now, and then I'm going to head over. I'm going to put the camera in front of my monitor, and I'm going to show you how to copy and paste that. I mean, a ton of you already know all that, but some of you don't. And I'll sh if you don't have the stamp, I'll show you what to do, and then you can have this ready to go for Saturday. So I'm just going to stop the video and head on over to my computer. Okay, so if you don't have the stamp, um, and you want to follow along on this project on Saturday, um, here's the template. So here we are at my blog, freshbrewedeverymorning.blogspot.com. And on the sidebar here, um, if you just come down a little bit, right there, um, here I have a template. So take your right click with your mouse, and when you right click, here's your pop up box. Click um, Save Picture. Mine says Save Picture As. So I'm going to click on that. This box will pop up, my Save Picture dialog box. And give your dress um, a name. It might come up what I have here, which is Image Dress 3. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. And save. And now I'm going to go to the desktop. And here's my image. Now I'm going to open up Word, Microsoft Word. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my image. Click Copy on the box that pops up. So I have copied that image to my clipboard. Now I'm going to open up Microsoft Word. And I'm going to go up to Edit, Paste, 
click on paste and there's the image. Now the image um, will be a little too small for the project so if you click on the image these little black squares are called sizing handles and you need to make the image a little larger so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to click on the corner sizing handle and bring it about so much bigger. Um, actually, you know what? I wrote the size down. I'll be right back. I wrote the size down. So, if, whoops, sorry. Let's see. Here we go. See, I wrote it here. So I'm going to drag those sizing handles to three and a half across and two and a half down. So let me do that again. So about three and a half across, two and a half down, and there. And now print. I'm just going to click on the print icon. and start printing. And this will be a nice size for the project. If you're going to follow um, along with me on Saturday, there is probably a good idea to do a little bit of prep work. Uh, first thing is I'm using, if you have these little canvases, if they're not this size, if they're bigger, that's fine. Have them pre-painted and dried and ready to go. And I just use white acrylic paint and I added a little dab of golden brown to it. So I have these, um, or just one of them painted and dried. The other thing is, if you're going to, if you have this stamp, then go ahead and use the stamp. Grab yourself a piece of cheesecloth, ink the stamp up with black ink or brown ink. Stamp it on um, just one layer of cheesecloth and then cut it out. So that's one um, part you could prep that would be good. So just lay your stamp, either stamp the cheesecloth or use the template, lay it on one layer of cheesecloth and cut it out so you'll have um, the dress form on the cheesecloth. And the other thing you can do to get ready for Saturday is um, lay this down. Where's the lace that I'm going to be using? I'm going to be using, I'm not sure yet, but I'll probably be using say this lace. Um, lay again, either stamp your image onto a piece of lace as well or the template and on your lace maybe use some double-sided tape just so it, it holds nice on your lace and cut each section out so have one two three four five all ready to go for Saturday so that's probably the the prep work that's best to have all done and then because I only have 45 minutes and um, anyhow this project did I say what this project is called it is called dresses on canvas so anyways, I hope to see you all on Saturday, and I'm really excited. So yourpaperpantry.ning.com, the virtual crop um, celebrating the royal wedding starts at 11.30 um, Central Standard Time, and my class comes on at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. So bye, everybody. Whatever kind of lace you want to use. I'm just going to show you the supply list that you're going to need if you're going to follow along um, on Saturday for um, my project. So, let's see. Um, parchment paper, I just cut them into little squares. Wax paper will work too. Um, scissors, lace, um, cheesecloth, stipple brush, um, some sort of um, sand paper or a filing block like this. I'm going to be using um, an oil pastel 
I'm going to be using brown. These little canvases. Um, these are, let's see, I get these at the dollar store. They're four by five. They're really thin canvases. White acrylic paint, and I add a little dab of brown. Um, I'm going to be using vintage photo distress ink. Um, these are probably all the glues I'm going to be using. Mod Podge, clear gel tacky glue, glossy accents. Um, also, this one I like to use. I may use some uh, ultra fine sparkles or yeah. Um, bling. I'm going to be using these little tiny ones. Diamond dust. Oh, and I'm going to use the new glue I just got for that diamond dust. I think I'm going to try this new glue that I just got. Uh, don't forget you're going to need some kind of wet, wet wipes or something. I like to use these Huggies wipes. Oh, let's see. Oh, and then, um, most important is the melting pot. So if you don't have a melting pot, you can use a crock pot. Um, and even some crock pots, they come with those little tiny crock pots that will work too. And some brushes for, um, you can use a stipple brush. The, the brush that will work good for um, what this project is a flat brush like that. Um, so, so a variety of brushes and also I have this little craft iron that I'm going to be using. If you don't have a little craft iron, just a regular iron will work too. And lastly for this project, um, you're going to need some beeswax. Uh, I know uh, many of you may get the beeswax pebbles or I don't know what it's called but they come in like little pebbles or something at, at Michael's. Um, and I just get mine at, um, in Vancouver or in Surrey, it's called the Honey Bee Center and I just buy big, big blocks of, of beeswax and then I just take a big chunk and, uh, or take little chunks off and stick it in my uh, melting pot. Okay, so that's it. Bye.